Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up Alright guys, so we're down at the gym. I've just smashed a uh, chest and a tiny bit of triceps. Um, I want to show you guys what I look like at the start of this cut. Uh, I'm not disappointed with how I'm looking. Um, I'll weigh in for you guys straight after this and see what my weight is. Um, but hey, this is how we're looking with a good chest pump. And um, you make up your own mind as to what body fat percentage I am. At the end of this series, I do plan on doing another DEXA scan and seeing exactly where I'm at, which will be interesting. I'm aiming for uh, 10 to 12% body fat. So, this is how we're looking at the moment. So that's basically it guys, that's a little bit of fun. That's how I'm looking. You can imagine how I'm gonna look in uh, eight weeks time. So I'm gonna put the, put the foot down, try and shape up and uh, look impressive by the end of this series. So that's the goal, that's how we're looking. I'm gonna call it, call it here. Actually no, I'll talk to you guys outside. All right guys, we are back. And um, I just thought I'd show you what the weather's like today because, you know, the weather's like this every single day and it's an absolute stunner. And um, this is my little little place here. It's the car. That's the, uh, that's the gym. And if I come over here, you can see the pool. So yeah, there's units going all the way along there, all the way along there, and all the way along there. So this is my, this is my one. And um, look at the contrast, guys, the purple and the orange against the blue. I mean, this is what the sky's like pretty much every single day of the year here, man. Completely crystal clear blue sky, not a cloud in the sky. Check out the zoom. Anyways, let's go inside. Actually, let's test out the zoom again. Oh, that's man, this camera's fucking sick. I gotta be honest. Uh, but either way, I thought I'd just show you guys my post workout meal. Now, um, well, it's actually my first meal, and most days this will either be my first meal, or if I train fasted, it'll be um, my post workout meal, obviously. So, uh, and it's going to be a shake. Now, my shakes when I was bulking are going to be completely different to the shakes I'm doing now. When I was bulking, it's, it's funny, you know, as soon as I decide wholeheartedly in my head that I'm switching from bulking to cutting, um, because there's no point doing neither, because you're just standing still, and I spent far too long doing that. Um, so I choose to either go wholeheartedly into bulking or wholeheartedly into cutting and obviously as of today I've, uh, I've flicked that switch in my head and I'm gonna start cutting so you know <laughs> my, my whole mindset towards food completely changes and it's funny I can change it just like that but it's because I know what I need to do I know that I don't want to fuck around and I want results and that's what you've got to do so before my shakes were you know as much in there as possible um, because you know, I was, 
I was struggling to get them down, to be honest. And, you know, I wanted, if anything, I wanted them to be smaller in volume. Right now, funnily enough, I want them to be as big in volume as possible, with the complete opposite, with the lowest amount of calories. So, in one of my previous videos, I said that the thing that was fucking me up with the big uh, shakes was the berries, the frozen berries, because once they get blended up, they, um, they pretty much volumize the thing by, by like, you know, double. And um, so I took them out. And right now, obviously, I'm going to want something that does that exact thing, volumizes it, makes it all thick and fluffy. And so frozen mixed berries are coming right back. So with that said, you know, I don't want the carbs to be too high. I don't know, I don't, I don't know exactly how, how many carbs or how many fats I'm going to have. I know that protein, I want to be 200 or above. I, I know that my calories, I want to be 2,500 or below. And, you know, if I stick to those two things, I, I'm going to be pretty sweet. I know that I need a good amount of carbs uh, to sustain myself through my training sessions. I need a good amount of carbs in my diet to still get a pump, you know, still have glycogen in the muscles, still feel, you know, full and satiated. Um, that's just my body. So I don't want to cut out carbs completely. If I was going to, I'd go completely keto, uh, which means basically, you know, lowering your protein and going 70, even 80% of your diet being from fat sources. So, and going completely zero carb. Um, I'm not going to do that either. Although that would create a drastic amount of weight loss. Um, if I needed to drop weight really quickly, I probably would do a keto diet. Right now, I don't need to. I'm feeling pretty good where I'm at. You know, you guys saw me in, um, in the, the bathroom there. I'm pretty happy where I'm at. So, post-workout anyway, we're not going to go... I, I don't actually have too many carb sources, to be honest. So, all I'm going to do is two scoops of whey protein. I'm going to put some egg whites in there, and we're going to put some mixed berries in there, as well as some water. Um, if I've got almond milk, I'll put that in. But it doesn't look like we do. So, all it's going to be is half a container of egg whites, which is the equivalent of four serves, which is about 30 grams of protein. As well as that, we've got whey protein over here. And I'm going to put two scoops in, which is another 50 grams of protein. Now you guys might say that 80 grams of protein in one serve is too much and your body might not absorb it. Well, you know, I, I believe that that's complete bro science. And I think that, you know, as long as you don't eat again too soon with a huge amount of protein, I think all of that protein is going to be used and, you know, um, it's just going to sustain your body for longer, really. I mean, why would you want to eat, you know, 50 grams of protein every two hours when you could eat 100 grams of protein every four hours. That's, that's the way I see it. But anyways, fuck. I'm actually running out of protein, so that's one and a half. Okay, that's two. I'd better get some more. If I could recommend one flavor from MTS, it would be this one. Peanut butter cookies and cream. It's absolutely delicious. And it's my go-to at the moment. So we've got that. We've got the half a container of egg whites and the berries where are we not there I'll, uh, I'll bring you over to my freezer so, I have some of these out and like I said I want like, honestly, berries have got to be one of my biggest diet tips. This whole entire pack of mixed berries has approximately 270 calories for, you know, 500 grams of frozen mixed berries. Want something extra low? Go with strawberries. They're even less calories. These ones have high, they're slightly higher because, you know, you've got blueberries in there. There's actually grapes in there as well. Um, so they're quite high in sugars. But strawberries are, are quite actually low in sugar for the volume that you get. Any mixed berries, to be honest, are pretty low in calories. So for a good diet tip, I would say snack on these, to be honest. Some people don't like them. I, I, I don't snack on them uh, frozen. The only time I use them frozen is in a shake. If I'm gonna eat them by themselves or with ice cream or with yogurt or something like that, I'm gonna defrost them first because the t the, when they're frozen, the taste is pretty bland. It doesn't, you know, doesn't really taste that much. You need to 
you need to defrost them for the taste to come back. But they seem to, <laughs> when they get broken up in a shake, the taste seems to come, to come back anyway. So, I don't know. That's a bit of bro science for you guys. But we'll put a good amount, which is probably half the container, 250 grams, which is going to be probably about 25 grams of carbs. No fat and like one gram of protein. So all up, I think the protein powder has five grams of carbs per scoop, six grams per scoop, four grams of fat per scoop, and 25 grams of protein. So we're sitting at 80 grams of protein. We've got 12, we've got 37 grams of carbs, and we've got eight, uh, eight grams of fat. So obviously I need more carbs after that, but for now, this is gonna be a good, a good shake. Um, I'd love to put some more stuff in there actually, but I don't even have it. If I had a banana or something, I'd put it in there. If I had some oats, I'd put it in there. But I don't, and I'm gonna to have to pick some shit up from the supermarket, so we'll fill it up with some water. And uh, see how we go. Let's do it. Alright. And there we have it. I can tell this is going to be absolutely delicious. Berries mixed with protein, with this flavoured protein powder, it's like a dessert, honestly. That is so nice. I would have to recommend that, guys. 80 grams of protein, fucking 32, no, what is it? 42 grams of carbs and 8 grams of fat. Boom. Alright, so right now guys, um, I'm probably going to call it a day to be honest, and we're going to turn on the TV and hope that it's perfect timing for the NBA Finals to start. I think it's, it's game two in the NBA Finals, so whenever you're watching this guys, I know it's going to be a few, few days late, but um, let's, let's see what's on. Turn this shit on. Game two, Cavs versus uh, Golden State. And have we missed it? Here we go. What's the score? Oh. Well, Golden State are up, up one game, so if they win this one, then they're 2-0 up. And that's not good. But anyways, guys, we're going to call it a day here. I'm going to watch this. I'm going to watch this with my post-workout shake that you just saw me make. I couldn't say what my next meal is going to be. You know, I've never been able to say what my next meal is going to be. That's the kind of dieter I am. But I do have my staple foods that I stick to, like your berries, your egg whites, your oats, potatoes, um, you know, chicken, steak, eggs, um, you know, veggies. Bananas, I have a huge amount of bananas in my diet. Um, yeah, so that's how things are gonna, are, are gonna go. We did chest and shoulders today, I felt pretty good. I know that my, my performance is gonna suffer in some workouts, it's just the way it is when you cut, you know, when you are feeling flat, if I've had a, a couple of days of low carb or whatever, um, my performance is gonna suffer a little bit, but you've just gotta have faith that at the end of the cut, you know, however flat, however weak you're feeling, uh, you know, uh, a couple of thousand grams of carbs and you'll be feeling like a complete different person, probably looking like a complete different person too. So, you know, one thing you do struggle with when you cut is feeling flat and I'm just going to try and um, ignore that I guess. I know what to expect, I know that it's all part of the process, especially being natural and I'm looking forward to it. So with that said, I'm going to get onto the shake, enjoy it and then watch the NBA Finals, so it's going to be a nice day. I've got the day off. I, I did night shift last night. Uh, we've we've killed today already. You know, I've been to the gym. I got my I got my diet on point already. So I'm feeling good, feeling positive, and I'll let you guys know how we're travelling in the next few days. But until then, have a great day. Train hard, eat well, all that good stuff, and I will see you guys in the next one.